Hi there, welcome to Daily Monster 40. Well, I just read a cheery article that said that we're doomed as a species, and um, probably within my lifetime. So that's fun. Um, and maybe true. So, um, you know, I think the only <laughs> real sensible reaction to that sort of thought is make more art. Do more of the things that give you joy. And here we are. Sorry, leading off, <laughs> leading off on a very bleak note here. Uh, but I just read the article and it sort of rattled me a little bit. Um, but again, what can you do? You know. Was the Churchill thing keep buggering on? That's, there, there it is. You know. All right, well, back. <laughs> Sorry. So it's kind of a rough transition for me mentally. Um, but uh, I think, uh, you know, going back to, to the business at hand, I'm going to do that thing where I'm going to let the ink dry for a little bit. Um, and then probably do a second layer of ink, because as I'm finding out, these little areas here that get a really nice vibrant color if I actually let them dry properly. Um, and they get all washed out if I dab them with, uh, with a Kleenex just so that I can draw, get to the drawing part more quickly. So, and I've just learned how to hit pause on a QuickTime recording. You hold down option and then the stop button becomes a pause button so here we go pause and a few minutes have passed things are relatively dry time for a second color i'll do this properly now maximum color Maximum visibility of color on page. Hopefully. <laughs> Let's see. Um, All right, and for good measure, since we have all this ink, for flavor, you see. All right, and again, option for pause. And there it is, magically dry. Um, I have to figure out how to do this with some sort of efficiency. I had a heat gun for a project. And I'm trying to find it because it does take quite a while for this to dry properly. And as much as I'm happy for a chance to play some guitar in the meantime, um, it does slow things down possibly to a degree that I'm not super excited about. But let's see what happens. It does certainly do wonders for the color, doesn't it? Look at that. Um, hang on, I'll do this from the outside because on the tape it's not yet dry. All right. Well, that is certainly worth the wait, though. Hmm. 
<sighs> I see a thing. I'm not sure if I'm going to do the thing that I see. But I do see a thing. Well, that's always worth something. Oh, okay. All right. Ah, I'm going to try a thing. I'm going to try a thing and I can see if I can do it. In retrospect, I feel somewhat bad about all these little splatters because now they might be a little bit in the way. But we'll just roll with that. Uh, time for me to put on a little bit of music and concentrate. Um, thanks for hanging with me. Skip ahead if you, if you must, but uh, also, you know, hang in if you like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit of pencil sketching because equipment is involved specifically me drawing equipment and that I have some self-confidence about my drawing but not that much How do, <laughs> how do bicycles actually work? This is, I'm trying to do this from memory. I know that this is a tube and I know there's a, there's this whole situation happening. But how are these things connected? So this goes down here, right? Let's connect it this way. I'm so tempted to just look at it on Google Images, and I may yet. Um, <laughs> I defy you to draw a bicycle from memory right now. Oh boy, okay, hang on. Move that forward a little bit. Let's see, clear this at a slightly more Maybe more realistic angle? By the way, am I focused? So you can actually see what I'm doing. Boy, that ain't it. <laughs> Alright, there you go. Oi. 
might be one of the longer videos. Alright, I am going to take a look at the old, uh, alright, hang on, we're googling this, let's see, uh, bicycle, this is the article by the way, are we heading towards extinction? <coughs> Very nice colors, these little previews. Okay. All right, this is what I'm... Aha! Okay, all right. I got it. The little triangle business in the back I didn't... Didn't account for. All right. This bit is what was screwing me up. All right. That. Hmm. That was an odd looking bicycle. All right. <laughs> the great drawing teacher in my life was Norm Sherman at Art Center, and Norm was teaching a class called Vis Viscom 6, Visual Communication 6. And I was an interloper. I came in from being an advertising major, of all things. And uh, he was dealing primarily with students that were uh, product design majors, and they knew how to draw like, like gods, I tell you, gods. And uh, they kind of knew it too. And so it tended to be quite, uh, quite self-assured about their abilities. And... Uh, Norm had to sort of get through to them that he had a bunch more to teach them. Uh, and so the first assignment that he gave us was um, he would tell us an object and we'd have to go up to the blackboard and draw that object. Somehow the, the, the bicycle that I drew initially, just from memory, looked more plausible than what I'm hacking together here now. All right. Um, and so I remember I had to draw a, uh, to draw a rocking chair from memory, which I somehow managed to pull off, kind of. And also, this was drawing on a chalkboard, which if you're used to drawing like this right here, uh, is a whole, you're suddenly in a whole other world, like world, all your uh, technique is gone, all your little tricks and all your muscle memory of how drawing works is kind of useless. Um, and so you have to just become really, really present and you have to really pay attention, which is amazing practice, of course, yeah. All right, how's this looking now? Oof. Drawing a bicycle is a <laughs> humbling experience. 
damn it. And also in the complete side view, the complete side view is maybe not exactly my friend, but uh, um, okay, but I think we're getting somewhere halfway decent. I can figure out how to draw this circle. Oof. I don't know if I mentioned that Norm was also pretty down on uh, sketching things out in pencil. If you follow these videos at all of mine, you will have heard me make remarks about copying out and pre-sketching pencil. I don't know if I made one earlier in this very video. Maybe, probably. Um, and Norm is the reason why. Because <laughs> Norm would always very much look down on, uh, on people sketching ahead of time. in his estimation it was very much a matter of if you if you knew your stuff then you could just go straight into ink uh, which is kind of i mean it's a little bit like saying you should you should be able to uh, know your instrument well enough to just go in the studio and record without rehearsal, but uh, is it is that the right metaphor? I think it might be. Um, okay, well that's starting to that's starting to at least look a little like something. So now we have to figure out what the legs are going to do. No, hang on. This is cartoon, this is cartoon drawing. Let's get some decent biomechanics going. Except, I mean, it is obviously all still gonna be cartoon to a degree. But that's approaching something semi-plausible. All right. Again, I, <laughs> I shudder to think what Norm would say about all of this. So he, was a, he was a wonderful, supportive man and a, and a great mentor. So uh, I'm sure he would keep the ribbing to a minimum. Um, all right. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, the anxiety is flowing freely right now. Um, and then can I use this? Can I use this pen or is this going to smear like all hell when I start erasing? Probably. Okay. I'm going to use this, which I think is going to be a little bit darker than I really would like it to be. very first piece of commercial art that I ever made was um, an ad, print ad, for a bicycle shop in my hometown in Germany. And uh, it featured a bicyclists very similar to this one so in a way I'm drawing from memory of that ad um, if you go to my website 
344 loves you and you look at uh, I think the I think it may be the very first entry on the site you can see that ad um, and uh, I very very much cribbed that drawing oh, it's 15 I think I cribbed the image from a uh, an Italian Disney artist, and I think I've, I'm unsure of his first name now, but his name is Cavazzano. 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 Um, I want to say maybe Giorgio Cavazzano. Let's look that up because I'm sure you're concerned with accuracy on this point. Um, let's see. It is Cavazzano because it has two Z's. Giorgio. It is Giorgio Cavazzano. Look him up. Amazing, amazing. Um, artist you know I try to give you a little something uh, beyond just monsters I always try tracking them down to send them a fan letter and thank him for being so inspiring and I never managed it. I never found them. I found I connected with a number of the artists that I really admired as a kid. Um, again, just to just to say thank you. And uh, but, but somehow, Mr. Cavazzano uh, was not to be found by me. go on this. Okay. I think this is right, isn't it? Yeah. Headlamp on that bike so the monster can see where it's going. I had a good friend who built bicycles. I'm sure, he'll have a good laugh at this too. Anxiety, my old pal while drawing. One excellent reason for drawing monsters is that uh, nobody knows what they're supposed to look like. But you know what a bicycle is supposed to look like. So there was my first mistake. <laughs> Some of the other monsters uh, have ridden unicycles. Because unicycles are actually a lot easier to draw. Okay. All right. And then we have a shoe down here. Is that right? Oh, almost, almost, almost. Bad, 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 bad. But 
let's just let's just roll with it. Let's not be too harsh. Um, uh, where did the other arm go? You ask. Oh, and a saddle for her friend. Okay. I have to actually indicate a proper bum to rest on said saddle. Okay. That does it. All right, let me also pull some focus here. Okay. Then, like nothing happened, like I just created it out of thin air. Gone are the sketch lines. <sighs> I guess if I practiced riding bicycles all the time, that I could just do it freehand. Um, but you know what it is, I think also is um, that uh, if you can see it very clearly in your mind's eye, I think you can draw it pretty well. Um, And I think that's the problem, is I was able to do that up to a certain point. And then it's just, you know, it, do, it just doesn't quite do it, it just doesn't quite work. I think my understanding of bicycles only stretched so far, which is a really, really good argument for paying closer attention out in the world as to how things are built and how things work. I guess sketching more from life wouldn't be the worst thing for me to do. But there's only so much time and there are so many things to do. Sorry, I'm being unusually chatty today. Shut up for a little bit. I'm feeling a little bit iffy about the uh, 
Um, hang on. Um, I'm feeling quite iffy about this monstrous shoes. Again, I think it goes back to that original Capazano drawing. Um, that's still spooking around in my head. Um, they're such uncur they're uncharacteristic for monster feet. So they seem a little bit weird to me. Okay. And I don't quite I also don't quite know what to do with the color of them. If they should be um, should be blue or what color they should be. If I wanna sort of flee forward and have them be uh, like bright yellow or something like that. Or that kind of neony green. But the bike is already neony green. So, I don't know if that's going to give me enough separation. So we need to have little speed lines in here because I'm not drawing the spokes. Individually, that works. And again, should have done it the other way around. Left to right. yellow. Might as well. Same for the saddle. Have that yellow pop up twice. And maybe for the handle as well. Holy moly, does that look powerful on camera. That's nuts. Um, dang. All right. Um, a wheelie. All right. Now, to give my creature life, let me turn up the light a little bit here so we have a little bit more going on up top.
just then the camera crashed again. Luckily I caught it relatively quickly. Sorry for the jump. Well, that was the quickest restart and crash ever. I've held my hand in the same position through the restart because continuity is important uh, to the degree that technology allows for it. Sorry about that, folks. Now. restarting as I'm thinking about this drawing. I think I'm going to actually cut off the legs and the feet and start that over because we're so deep into this now that it seems almost almost necessary. So new to me. Little fella, so jaunty. He sort of deserves properly functioning legs. Are these going to be any better or worse than what I have now? Let's see. Um, I understand that this makes it, you know, a video of possibly unnecessarily epic length. Uh, and I hope you'll forgive me, but I just, I just, um, I want to do it right. Serves me right for doing a bicycle instead of a unicycle. Bless you for sticking around if you are. And of course, I remind you that the option exists for you to just skip to the end if it gets entirely too long. I'm so curious about the view statistics on these videos anyway. To see if you're finding it, any of you are finding it fun to see the whole thing in real time, or if the statistical verdict will just be, why are you no longer condensing these to 60 seconds? That was so much better. All right. Looks kind of alright this way too. Um, okay. Now. We know that this has to exist. We know that this is a thing. Ooh, or maybe it should be the other way around. It should be this way. Maybe that'll draw itself a little bit better. Let's see, maybe worth a shot. Nope, because then we cover all this up and you kind of need that to understand the drawing. Right. 
doesn't quite seem right, does it? And also it doesn't address the ugly shoe issue. Um, Again, this is why I love drawing uh, animals, monsters, plants are particularly great. Because you can get a plant just about right and everybody's like, oh yeah, that's, that's kind of what that looks like. Um, hmm. Well, what if they have, what if monster shoes are used? The ultimate dodge. That's actually not terrible. I sort of don't like this coincidental line. So let's see if we can do this. This back leg shows us, of course, is that the uh, saddle should be put up a little bit higher. All right, let's figure out what works here and doesn't work.
think that is better. Versus this. The calves were nice, but the whole thing, I don't know. Like it just didn't quite work for me. Oh, shoot, completely forgot this line. Dang it. Might have adjusted some things for that. Oh, coincidental lines, no! Uh. Cutting it out again. Really not. Oh, the fudging. Oh, the fudging. Oof. Okay, well, we're gonna fill this in. Because otherwise you're not gonna see it at all. Um. Okay. See if we can get a little bit more white going on here. Second coat. Make that an eye pop. Okay. Have I now hacked around in this enough? I think so. Turn the light up a little bit more still. Uh, one last little bit here. Okay. <laughs> Oy vey. Good God. All right. And this, like the whole he's popping a wheelie thing, or she's popping a wheelie, is not working for me. It was just a dodge. It's so just another dodge. But what we can do is.
like I can fake it a little bit so that it's sitting more evenly. There we go. At long last, at long last. Okay. I think we've got it. Thank you for sticking with me throughout this entire thing. Um, this is Daily Monster 40. And uh, I hope that after all this, despite all this, you'll come back for Daily Monster 41. I will too. See you over there.